Good afternoon. How are we? Oh, it's Sunday. For me, it's always going to be a special day. I mean, I've doubted it, played around with it. Um, I'm a Buddhist. I'm a Picasso follower. I didn't know what day it was. Does the Buddha know what day it is? Probably not. But I was raised in a Christian place and I was taught to understand that Sunday was different and so it always will be. I don't eat meat, I don't have a roast, uh, but a roast can last you halfway through the week, so I wouldn't rule it out. Um, like roasting potatoes, vegetables, uh, roast. So yeah, home, food, basic necessities. So I'm doing my due diligence today as a manager of a fund. Yeah, uh, let's go into the calm, devoid of music room, room of a big clock, a spreadsheet, uh, a, a teapot uh, the world on it I've seen a bit of the world I don't pretend to have seen enough of it I'd like to go to Mongolia yeah I'd like to go to Mongolia and sit with them and eat with them what earth do they eat a lot of fish do they live long well, another question is, do they count? Yeah, after a certain age, does an old Mongolian man count? I actually doubt it. So, yeah, without getting too obtuse on you, um, would you buy a used car from this man? Well, start with the basics, where do I live? I've lived here for a while. Can you find me? Yeah, you can find me. Uh, do the same thing each week, sit in the same places. Um, do I make a point of being findable? Yes, I do. I've got a landline there. Hotline, it's even on the cooker. Yeah, no one calls. Uh, it's not because no one cares. Uh, the people who care I talk to a lot uh, and I've got some nice people in my life yeah, I really have I'm a really lucky guy yeah so am I an extravagant man to be managing a fund let's walk you through it these boots 45 quid and they hurt me. I walked around Spain and I had a massive blister, they were fucking killing me. And I thought, throw them out, buy another pen. No. Pull them through the wash. Stuff to suck in them. Now they're the best boots I've ever had. I don't even know I've got them on. I'm an extravagant man. Where do I live? In the smallest room in the house. Uh, dry my washing on the wall. Uh, would have a game of squash. But my last squash partner's in Australia, so if anyone fancies it, I'm here. Um, extravagant man, washing. Scent, that's pretty extravagant. Works though. My old lady knows when I've had a wash, because I, I smell nice. But clothes, <sighs> gift, uh, vintage shop gift from TK Maxx full of rolls my son sort of patch on I'm gonna fix them I don't want to buy new jeans nothing wrong with those uh, so extravagant man um, watches <laughs> had three watches that's my Van watch, and it's by today's standards 
pretty basic and it I just kept wearing it and eventually it's all the right time <laughs> so it itself out it took six months to do it but there it is shades of Jeffrey on George Street stolen and fake actually quite dangerous if you buy in shades pay yeah they were a tenner and I've had easily miles out of them already so extravagant man uh, clothes yeah Lewis coat but I've always wanted one a country coat and we've seen loads of action and building in it it's waterproof. It's, it's, the, it's the bananas, mate. And I all I had one as a kid, a barber, a motorcycle barber, black. As a kid, I, I slept in it, wax jacket. Yeah, is it any wonder I'm single? I used to go around as a young man of 17, 18, 19, dripping wet at all times, just virtually speechless. Uh, on all in all varieties of leather jackets and jumpers and God Almighty, so that's not gone away. That's really what I still wear. So you're not paying for Savile Row suits with you with your investment, uh, not a bit of it. So am I an extravagant man? Um, not really, I don't hire a cleaner. I cook for England, and I'm a vegetarian, pescatarian, so. Joking, I spend hardly anything on food. Um, I just buy vegetables and fish. Yeah, that's why I want to go to Mongolia to see how they live without vegetables. Yeah, that's a funny one, isn't it? It's like you've got in all this advice you many eat this, you many eat that, but if you look around the world, people just eat what's there. Yeah, which is what I do. So yeah, extravagant man. And um, I'm cycling today. We met a guy yesterday and um, sort of told us his life story. And um, he's 78. He's 78 and he cycles around the area and, he, and, he, and he's been in the army. He's, he's had a right old life. He's got a few kids. He sings um, in a karaoke, which is on the road I used to live on. Um, and a, and a pub I've been in, and it's a proper friendly zone. That is a like a community zone more than this end. And I'm going to pay it a visit. I'm going to cycle down there at three o'clock. And he said there's a Chinese guy running the karaoke. <laughs> Can't see this. <laughs> this is in uh, Station Road, Port Slade, at three o'clock today. Yeah, so. And Mick is going to sing Unchained Melody, which is a difficult tune in anyone's book. Elvis has done it. George Benson's done it. Um, Unchained Melody. I think there's a few other takers. And I'm going to listen to it before I go. Yeah. And then there's me in karaoke. And my, my tones are low. I've got to pick the right tune. I've done a Robert Palmer. Um... But I want to do play that funk, play that funky music, white boy. Play that funky music, white boy. Yeah, I might give that a go. So anyway, I'm droning on for England. So yeah, do you trust this man? Do you know what? Ask your mates. Yeah, it's a long old vid for a Sunday. Right old sermon. Yeah, love you.